Hi, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. Today I'd like to talk about my change in my collection. And um, <clears throat> what I wanted to say is, yeah, I've, uh, I've been selling a few pieces off. And, um, you know, what was probably the, the reason I started doing this is the fact that I really got upset with uh, my collection because I fucked the dynamics up by selling my Vacheron and Constantine dress watch off. And um, <clears throat> I sold it off. I love the VC. I mean, I, I really did enjoy owning the Vacheron. It was a fucking classy piece. And um, in some ways, I regret selling it. But fuck, I doubled my money on the fucking thing. I mean, Jesus Christ, Archie. You never go broke making a profit. You know, that's, that's the thing. And... Um, I sold I sold it off and then it really put my the rest of my collection into a quandary because I had an Audemars Piguet ultra slim dress watch which I bought it because I had the Vacheron and I wanted the Holy Trinity set and it sort of became pointless <clears throat> it had a dial flaw the dial was a bit down all original nice piece but you know, it it sort of it it had some you know it's had some had some issues with that in the collection. I also uh, you know I started looking at my collection and uh, as I've said before, the Omega <coughs> Speedmaster Man on the Moon. I started questioning, you know, is it luxurious enough for the collection? It never seemed to be a problem when I owned the uh, the Vacheron. I, I it sort of. It fitted in nicely, but by by pulling that one piece out, it kind of fucked the reasoning behind the collection. So I, I started questioning, you know, did I really want it? Did I need it? Etc. Etc. And uh, I must admit, now that I have sold the Omega, I do regret the sale. But but that's okay. That's okay, Archie. Uh, and then I've I've uh, I've uh, I've also it looks like my Cartier Panther may or may not be sold. I mean, it, it's sort of quartz. It's it's uh, it's a bit dated. You know, that's that's the problem with the Cartier Panther. They were really fucking swinging hot shit. Um, you know, 80s, 90s. But in this new new uh, millennium, they're kind of a bit fucking on the nose. You know, you know what I mean. It's a sort of a pre. It's it. <laughs> It's a pre Y2K sort of piece, you know. That's what's what the Panther is, and um, I don't know what to say. So it's 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 actually gone. I've sold it. I lost fucking money on it, but um, you know, I've I've kind of um, it's gone. You know, well well I, well the fucker hasn't paid for it. It's gone to a, a crummy buyer in Israel. So I don't know how the fuck that's going to pan out. I got my AP Royal Oak. Two-tone quartz. It's 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 on the flea at the moment. I hope it goes for. It's about just over the two thousand dollar mark, which is really fucking low for a a really nice looking AP two-tone. It's really fucking disappointing, but uh, it'll be it'll be running out soon. So I hope I hope that goes for more. Um, and uh, you know, because I've kind of re starting to refocus on my collection, and and what I've decided is what is the emphasis of Archie's collection, and I'm actually saying that in Archie's case, the emphasis is white metals, that's like steel, white gold, or platinum, and I want a piece which has got a white or ivory type of dial. And uh, this is starting to form, part, you know, you sort of, you have a collection, you have pieces, and they all fit together well. You sell or trade off one piece, and then it fucks the dynamics, and you, you kind of, you sell a few off, and you regroup. So, my, my keepers, my Patek 5107, that's a definite keeper in white gold there. I've also got my Jager La Coltra reverso grand date that's a definite keeper it's in steel and i've i've, I've decided I, I i did put my rolex explorer 2 into an auction it didn't sell i thought fuck it i'll keep it i love the explorer 2 and what i'll do is i'll flick my 
Audemars Piguet two-tone quartz because I because I, I kind of uh, I, was, I was looking at selling one of those pieces so I thought stuff it I'll keep the Explorer 2 and my, my good friend Descartes he gave me that advice so I, I do appreciate that Descartes so that's three good pieces and uh, I'm also I've got a uh, my Cartier Panther Quartz, even though it's dated and I'm, I'm, I'm sort of pleased it's sold on the flea. Another part of me says, well, if the buyer doesn't come good, and he's got the buyer's got some horrible feedback, okay? If he doesn't come good, well, that's still a steel piece with a, um, <clears throat> a white dial. So that kind of, I could justify having one quartz piece in the collection. So... That's four good pieces. And I mean, put it this way, the Panther, it sold on eBay for $860, which is an absolute bargain for a box papers Panther. And I'm thinking, well, if it doesn't go, who really cares? Why not just keep it, Archie? So that's four really nice white metal, that's steel and white gold pieces with white or ivory dials so you know that that could become part of the new modus operandi for me and i'm thinking you know down the track i'll probably want to add a diving sort of watch so i'm thinking what's a good steel sports watch with a white dial i know amiga's got one but will the ETA movement bug me that much that I can't do it? I do miss having an Amiga in my range. It definitely couldn't be a quartz Amiga, but there's some there's some food for thought there. So so that's how my collection that's gonna be I'm thinking about maybe that that could be the rules for my collection. White metal, white or ivory dial. And uh, that's 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 that could be a good way to to keep my collection going. So I'm just having a think about it. You tell me what you think because I've uh, I've taken a knock since I sold off that that Vacheron, and and I, I I've sort of been a bit lost. A lot of pieces didn't really after I sold that piece, it, it's the collection sort of fell apart. So, yep, I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think. <laughs>